All right, so it's Sam Nenvi here, and I'm just going to be outlining your main mindset and what you should be doing in the early game as Poppy. Currently, I'm running a more supportive role, letting the 80 carry farm while I just sit in the bush and try to zone them out. This is a similar role to Blitzcrank outside of the grabs. What you're going to do is you're just going to stand here and just wait for any of your enemies to approach the wall. As you'll see which wall I'm talking about after I do a couple of dashes or charges. And you're just going to use your heroic charge and then land your Q. And we do get T-Bone low but he does not die. But then he's chasing and then I'm just going to push Vagar away from Tristana. And do score that kill. But Tristana does die. I'm just going to chase this Teemo. And Poppy's early to mid game damage is pretty nice without items just because it just has pretty good base damages and devastating blow and heroic charge are quite bursty in the very early parts of the game. So I'm just gonna try and zone them out of EXP and farming range just using my spells just to get around. And Tristana should be farming. And what I'm just going to do is just still going to stay in this bush because they know I'm in here and if they try to overextend, I can e easily just use heroic charge and then cue them. So they are afraid, so I am zoning them, so I am doing my roll fine as Tristana free farms. So you're just going to sit in the bush, let all Tristana get all your farm, and as you can see, Gangplank was in their jungle, so I did secure that kill over there. And I'm just going to get the assist percent. So the main item for support poppy is you must have your philosopher stone. Because you are not getting any creep kills, it is important to always have a steady income of gold so that philosopher stone will still just boost your GPM gold per minute just because you're not getting enough creeps. Also the regen is great on poppy and poppy was known for notorious philosopher stone stacking because of her passive. So as you can see, I just, whenever they get close to that wall, I'll just use Heroic Charge and then land my Devastating Blow. And once you get your ult, you can start doing dives similar to Alistar. Just um, dash in, use your ult, and just try to stun them. There's not much to do with support poppy, just sit in the lane, protect your carry, maybe get a couple kills here and there. The reason why support Poppy is viable is because Poppy doesn't need too many items to be viable or do her job, which is kill the carry, because her Q is based off percent of HP, so it does it need to be boosted too much by items. So your early game goals are just your Merc Treads, your Philosopher's Stone, and your Sheen. And here I'm just gonna die because Vagar does get low, and because of my ult, I don't take any damage from the turret, and Ignite gets boosted. So here comes Uter for a gank, which a jungler should, and we're just gonna go gank this Teemo. So I'm gonna wait and just throw a charge just so I can push myself farther away from the tower. Now I'll be outlining your typical mindset for a solo poppy and a duo bot poppy. So let's start off with the duo bot poppy. Your main mindset is to farm. That's what mainly your AD carry should do. And you should get a nice support. A good support would probably be Sona, Janna, Tarek, and maybe Soraka. Just because Tarek stun with Poppy's um, heroic charge is a great combo along with Sona's speed boost and Janna's two CCs, you can easily land that heroic charge. Um, Soraka, I'm not too much of a fan of her, but with her aura and her armor buff with her heals, it makes Poppy really, really tanky along with her passive. So Soraka is more of a defensive type of support, while Tarek and Sona are more of the offensive support. What you do want to do in the bot lane is just focus on farming, farming, and farming, but whenever you have your jungler, or if they're very low, you can always go in for the kill. Always make sure your jungle leads, so then you can position for your heroic charge, and then it should be quite an easy kill. Alright, so now we're going to go talk about top lane poppy. So it's pretty simple, your mindset should be to last it, farm, farm, and farm. 
getting the Philo Stone to just increase your sustainability in lane, buying wards so you don't gank, and try not to overextend. And always remember to gank when your jungler ganks because Poppy is very weak one on one, sounds weird, but she is in the earlier stages when she doesn't have too many levels. So you're just going to sit in top lane because top lane is known for just sitting in there farming and then coming back into the mid dash late game. Poppy is best more in the mid game because of her burst and in the late game if she can get itemized she can be very terrorizing to the enemy carries. So you do, you want to focus on farming and if you do get a kill try not to be too cocky and just dive them. But it's good if you know that you can get the, the kill as Poppy in top lane. And Poppy is quite good because she doesn't get harassed too much because the majority of top lane is melee. 